welcome to all i am rahul in this video we will study how to find an equation of a right circular cone first of all so let's start with the problem find the equation of a right circular cone which has its vertex so underline the keyword vertex at the point 0 0 10 and put intersection with the plane x o y is a circle of a diameter 10 so what we have the circle of a diameter 10 this question asked in a spcu pune university for first year engineering in may 14 so first of all try to understand the problem what they are given how we find the basic required thing that is a coordinate of a vertex that is a drs of an axis and that is a angle that is the same in vertical angle so if possible try to draw the diagram for the given question so if you observe they are given the vertex that is 0 0 10 means it is on the z axis so first of all we draw the 3d plane that is x y z plane so consider this x y this is our origin and this is our z plane so what they are given that is the vertex it as 0 0 10 so consider this point as 0 0 10 now once once we know they have the intersection with the plane x o y as a circle so x o y plane this is nothing but our x o y plane so it is like this with the x o y plane so here we have a circle like this Whose diameter is 10? So obviously, if this diameter is 10, the radius is obviously the 5. And if you observe, the height of this from the origin is 10. So these many information we have from the given question. Now let's start to solve this to find an equation of a right circular cone. In step number one, we write the given information. That is. Coordinates of an vertex alpha comma beta comma gamma is equal to zero comma zero comma ten. So this is nothing but our coordinates of an vertex. One more thing, indirectly they are given that is axis of a cone is z axis. so obviously the drs of the z axis is 0 0 which is already we study in the prerequisite section so the drs of the axis are abc is equal to if you understand the prerequisite please comment below what are the drs of this particular z axis yes you are correct the drs are 0 0 1 so these are the drs so two thing we get now we are balanced with how to find an semi vertical angle now to find an semi vertical angle we need to use we need to use pythagoras theorem so from diagram we observe that there is an triangle right angle triangle so consider this is our a this is our b and this is our c and this is an angle theta and as this is a diameter is phi u the radi sorry diameter is 10 the radius is phi u and coordinate of ac that is vertex is 0 0 10 so obviously the height of that particular ac is 10 now we need to find an cos theta so we already studied in the Prerequisite section of this video, the cos theta is nothing but adjacent upon hypotenuse. So please comment what is an adjacent upon hypotenuse? Yes, it is correct. It is AC divided by BC. So what is cos theta? It is AC divided by BC. But we don't know the value of AC. So by Pythagoras theorem, what we get? So by Pythagoras theorem, 
what we get is bc square is equal to ac square plus ab square. So let's solve this to find the value of bc to get the value of cos theta to get the value of theta that is semi vertical angle. So continue with the previous one. So bc square is equal to ac square plus ab square. Now out of this we know the value of AC that is 10 so we get 10 square plus we know the value of AB that is 5 square so we get 100 plus 25 that is equal to 125 is nothing but BC square so this implies the value of BC is equal to square root of 125 that is 125 now substituting this value into cos theta is equal to AC upon BC and the value of AC is phi u and value of BC is square root of 125 so there therefore we get the value of cos theta to find the value of a right circular cone to find an equation of a cone, consider the any point P, X, Y, Z are the coordinates of that point P e on the cone. So, in the prerequisite we study, the value of cos theta is equal to A into X minus alpha plus B into Y minus beta plus C into Z minus gamma divided by the square root of a square plus b square plus e square square root of x minus alpha square plus y minus beta square plus z minus gamma square. So only thing we need to substitute the value of a, b, c and the value of alpha, beta, gamma and the value of cos theta. So in the next step, we substitute all these values to get the equation. So by substituting the values of cos theta, the value of cos theta is 10 upon, sorry I made a mistake before the else, cos theta is AC upon BC, the value of AC is 10. So by substituting the value of cos theta, here we get 10 upon square root of 125 is equal to we substitute the value of ABC and alpha, beta, gamma, we get 0 into x minus 0 plus 0 into y minus 0 plus 10 into z minus, sorry, 1 into z minus 10 divided by square root of 0 square plus 0 square plus 1 square multiply with the x minus 0 square plus y minus 0 square plus z minus 10 square. Now let me simplify this. Now to simplify this we get 10 upon square root of 125 is equal to z minus 10 upon 1 square root of x square plus y square plus z minus 10 square. Now to remove this square root, we square to both sides. Squaring both sides, we get 100 that is the square of 10 divided by 125 is equal to z minus 10 square and here the square root get removed so we get x square plus y square plus z minus 10 square. Now to simplify this, let me multiply this with this and this with this. So we get 100 into bracket x square plus y square plus square of z minus 10 square that is z square minus 20 z plus 
hundred is equal to one twenty five into z minus ten square that is z square minus twenty z plus hundred. Now we simplify this. Now if you observe here what we have the hundred and here what we have the one twenty five. We divide both side by twenty five. We get four x square plus y square plus z square minus twenty z plus hundred is equal to five z square minus twenty z plus hundred. So by multiplication, we get four x square plus four y square plus four z square minus eighty z plus four hundred is equal to five z square minus hundred z plus five hundred. Now if you observe. There is no any x square term, so we write four x square. There is no y square term, so we write four y square. Here, four z square minus five z square. We get minus z square minus eighty z plus minus minus plus. So what we get minus eighty plus hundred. That is plus twenty z four hundred minus five hundred. We get minus hundred. That is equal to zero. So this is nothing but your required equation of a right circular cone. So hope you understand this. Like, comment below, subscribe the channel to get the new update. Now let's go for the another type of the problem. Now we see how we create a different different question from this question. So if you observe. This zero zero ten represent that our axis of a cone is on z axis. So you can put one statement that is axis of a cone is our z axis. One more thing, the given the circle of a diameter ten. So you can say that circle that is x square plus y square is equal to pi square. So this is how you can generate the second question also. One more thing, you can say that the equation of an big one statement that equation of an axis is x minus zero upon zero is equal to y minus zero upon zero is equal to z minus ten upon one. So here zero zero one these are the DRS of an axis and the zero zero ten is nothing but our vertex coordinate of an vertex. So this is how you can create a different different problem one single problem. So video please subscribe, press the bell icon, comment below and do not forget to like and share with your friends. At the end of this video. I commit you that I will share you the some study material. So in the description, I will give you the PDF of this video material and workbook for the practice of this problem. Hope you understand. Thank you. Do your best. Thank you very much.